Those are some nice puppies, babe. <laughs> oh my god! What's up, Life Right Nation? It's your boy DJ Flip Miami coming to you live from the Hard Rock Hotel, Daytona Beach, at Jeep Check the Rock 2023. We're out here with all our friends. Everybody make some noise! Nice puppies, babe. <laughs> oh my god! Are you ready, ladies? Safety check. Last last lady standing. How about that one? Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go! That's the official sunscreen. Of official G sunscreen of G Peach. Uh, it is it? also reef safe. So now, although the beach, the bikinis, and the beach games are <laughs> a big part of Jeep Beach, clearly it's in the name. And we love coming for, for that. For the beach yeah, and the bikinis sure. and the games. That's not all that Jeep Beach is about. They also have the vendor show at the Speedway, and it is it's freaking massive. huge. Everybody, That's what she said. Everybody who's everybody and anybody who's anybody literally comes here. There's so, so many companies here. It's, it's absolutely insane. So, right in just, now, yeah, in a minute, just now, we're about to have a big meet and greet over at the Magnaflow booth. We'll show you that, but afterwards, we're gonna do a lot of walking around and show you what else this vendor show has to offer. What's that like, Bright Nation? Woo! What's up, Life Right Nation from South Africa? Woo! 
What's up, Light Bright Nation? 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 Is this your first time at Jeep Beach? Yeah. yeah. Having a blast? Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. Y'all got to come during the week next time and do all the, the beach games, all the party stuff. Really? Yeah, take off school. School's for quitters. School's for quitters. <laughs> Sick ride on, dude. I Thank quit you. school. Elon Musk quit school. Uh, <laughs> Kevin's over here. I think Joe Rogan, maybe. I mean, I don't know. He, he might have quit school. Who else? Who else I quit school? I didn't quit school. I think Einstein quit school. Uh, not that I'm as smart as these guys, but, you know. Yeah, that's where you yeah. yeah you don't cool. don't listen don't listen to Kevin. It's not a bad thing if you have another plan. <laughs> We're over here trying to convince every child that comes through this booth to quit school. Do not do that. Don't do that. Don't listen to us. We're idiots. And that's not necessarily true. I didn't true. quit school. I didn't quit school. Granted, I do have a bachelor's degree that's just collecting dust, but oh, so don't so, quit wait, you, so you had debt no, it was from wonderful college. experience and wonderful debt. It's fine. <laughs> The vendor show is getting bigger and bigger every year, and this year is zero exception. And you know, we gotta stop by and see our buddy Justin here. Factor 55, you know we love this guy. What do you well, got speaking of bigger vendor show, we've been in Florida now for two weeks, so just like, but I haven't been having fun diving and sitting on the beach. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Some of us have had to nice. work, Kevin. That was work. <laughs> I almost died down there, by the way. But well, I look forward to seeing that. Yeah. I heard all about it. I look forward to seeing it. We had, so, so since we came down to Florida, we were at the Florida tow show in Orlando two weeks ago. Okay. So it's all heavy wreckers and tow trucks. Okay. So just like with like, you know, for the Jeep people say like, look man, that's not only do we make stuff for side-by-sides, but all the way for these 30,000 pound like vehicles. So this is an example of some of the new industrial products we're getting ready to release. So this soft shackle breaks at 330,000 pounds. That doesn't make sense. 330,000 pounds. That doesn't, yeah, that doesn't make sense. That's, Dude, it's enormous. So it's like almost big enough to like, Tell your mom around the, the parking lot. Oh! Not your mom, but, but maybe like, like your mom. <laughs> but like your mom. Well, not your, not, not your, your mom. Your mom. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we wanted to bring these out to just show some examples uh, of the new things that were happening, and then also we made this special for the 20th anniversary of Jeep Beach. We've got our Jeep Beach 20th anniversary fair lead. So should we steal one of those? Well, I'm just saying, like one one thing that may happen is like now that we have some more customization and availabilities. I mean, they could say like, oh, sh <laughs> well, it's not that hot out, bro. They're yeah, going to burn, burn your leg. I thought my pants were tighter, but I guess I lost weight. <laughs> so even though I'm a little soft in the middle, I still touch my toes. Oh, I can't. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. I can talk about those. <laughs> Feeling good. Just showing like, you know, some of the other examples of the oh. industrial pulley, you know, some of the prototyping that we're doing. So we have a, dude. There's I saw a, this one's 3D printed. 3D printed, yep. So we have a bunch of new products that we're getting ready to release and it's going to be uh, coming up soon. Like some other stuff that will be featured with you guys. Some other oh. things that you guys have also helped us develop ideas and design stuff. There's a oh. lot of cool things that are going to be coming down the pipeline. Finally having the availability to even, dude, what about, to yeah, that, what if whatever. it's like Demon Child? I'm just saying, bro. Oh. 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 You know what I mean? We can do okay. some cool stuff. I'm picking up what you're throwing down. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So there's a lot of cool things that are going to be able to come out. So we're just stoked to be here, man. Sick. Great to see you. <laughs> I love you, buddy. We love Lab Rat Nation. Lab Rat Nation! Now, I am not gonna lie, when I think Jeep Beach in Daytona, this is exactly <laughs> what I picture. And of course, we have to give another shout out to RCI Jeep and 4x4 for rescuing us. If you didn't watch the last video, go watch it. They came to our aid, even though it ended up being the dumbest thing. <laughs> 
Guys, the off-road in the Jeep community is just absolutely incredible. So yeah. we got to give these guys a shout out again. If you're in the area. Yeah, if you're in the yeah. area. Melbourne, it's Florida. Melbourne, Florida. 100% call them. They are amazing. So we're stopping by the PRP booth right now because I noticed they had some new seats. Now, we have the Enduro Elites, which is no longer in their lineup, if you see. They have the Enduro, the Enduro Trek, and the Enduro Trail. And what I found right away was that the seats are way more comfortable. The, the new padding, they have a new softer, more like conforming padding to it and if you see the big difference between these two is that this one kind of flat across the bottom while this one has some bolstering you got to kind of pick because this is going to be easier to slide in and out of the trek wheel but the trail is going to hold you in place better so it kind of just depends how you want to get in there what i figure we will do is order some new ones of these and do a giveaway for our enduro elites that we currently have which have like like almost no miles on them we have the step child's been broken forever so yeah let's let's do a giveaway on the enduro elites let us know in the comments if you're interested in winning the Enduro Elites out of the step down. I kind of thought that said, glad I ate, glad I ate her. <laughs> he missed, he missed you it. Missed my wife's Jeep, so probably not. <laughs> so as we were walking further, I saw something kind of interesting. Aggressive crawlers here, they're at a Myrtle Beach. South Carolina. South Carolina. If you see, this has a 3.6 in it, but this is, this is an LJ or TJ. This one's an LJ, but that is a new motor out of a Gladiator or out of a, out of a JL that they have fit into here. That's kind of crazy because getting that to work, if you come inside, they're actually still using the eight-speed transmission. The motors are just whatever. It's the eight-speed, it's the 8HP 50 that's really awesome. And then they actually have it all working with the Dakota digital dash. So they actually have it looking retro in here. It looks like it's OEM, but it's not. It's it's a Dakota digital dash. So what what else am I missing? Is that kind of it? Well, what do you guys got going on? Well, the best thing about it is it's got a 4.7 to one granny first gear. So you've got 60% more horsepower. So you're using you're using the T case out of you're using the Rubicon case out of. We have two options. Okay. We have the Gladiator transfer case that we can use. Also, right. The four yes. to one. Or we actually have an adapter that we can use to attach your 241 transfer case. Okay. So we can stick with your stock. If you got a Rubicon, we can stick with your stock transfer case. Right, that's crazy. So what they do is they actually work with America's Most Wanted to do swaps. They do Hemi Hellcat Demon swaps. Then when they pull the, that 3.6 out of one of the vehicles, they're like, well, what do we do with these things? Instead of them piling up, they said, hey, why don't we update your TJ or LJ or exactly. whatever else you got? One's, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Yeah. These usually have over 200,000 miles on them. And we know that LJ is the holy grail now. Everybody is kind of going back retro, but they have the old four liters. Or they're a manual and they can't drive them. You know, they're older, leg problems. Now they can. we can convert it to an automatic with the eight speeds. Nice, so when are you gonna drop this off at my house? Let me uh, play with it for a while. So what do you guys, did you guys make up your own motor mounts and stuff? We did, or how's yep. that going? This okay. actually has a JK uh, uh, Gen 2 uh, motor mount, but we're actually doing a liquid field on the next one. Okay. So we've created a, a motor cradle for a liquid field. And it kind of just, and then what, tuning wise, is there any special, or does it just plug, like is the e stock EC, it is, it or is, is that tuned, secret? It's tuned by HP Tuners. Okay. Yeah. So it has an H, so HP Tuners gets it kind of all to work once yep. you swap it over. Exactly. Nice. And we got a 25 year master tech from Mopar that put this together. He's been working on it for three and a half years. We actually have a YJ that has a JK36 and six speed, and we've been driving it for three and a half years and wheeling it. And That's pretty wild. I mean, as this three and a half years to try to do this, a lot of people are like, oh, I can, I can go to a junkyard motor and throw it my old, no problem. It doesn't work like that. No, not not gen not. not gen five stuff. Old LS stuff or regular LS stuff, you know, that's different. Yeah. But any kind of gen five Mopar anything doesn't doesn't work like that. Yeah. It just doesn't. Possible. All right, well thanks for your time, yeah, man. That's thank you awesome. Very much, Kevin. Yeah. Nice to meet you. So we just met these guys at EJS, drove all the way down here, and as you saw in the last video, we were driving around and we had to pull the 40 inch tire bead lock wheel off of the Jeep on the side of the road and then struggle to get it back on. And I was like, damn it, we should have picked one of these up at EJS because I was, you know, the last thing you want to do is get all crazy freaking dirty and you're hot, you're broke down, and now you're trying to struggle around with a 160, 170 pound 
40 inch tire and b-block wheel i think we're gonna go home with one of these this time <laughs> look these guys up that's actually super nifty to carry with you especially if you've got big tires and heavy beadlocks. so what's also awesome is here at the vendor show at the speedway they also have a man-made off-road obstacle course for everyone to take their jeeps on and uh it can get pretty entertaining Another booth we had to absolutely stop by was the Spiderweb Shade booth. So the Shade Brigade, they are an integral part of Jeep Beach. Every single year, these guys bring the party. And this is Harvey. Hello, hello. I just wanted him to take a second and give you his thoughts on Jeep Beach because this place is wild. It really is. Such a good time. It's so awesome to get so many people from the industry, West Coast, East Coast, North, South, all to come in one location for such a good cause and to have fun. Obviously, you've seen our videos. It's a wild ride on the beach. It's a wild ride at the Tiki Party. Clearly, it is an absolute blast of a time here at the Vendor Show as well. So if you guys ever come though, 100% come by the Spiderweb State booth, like, check out Shade Brigade. So, but I do have to ask, how is it that every year you guys seem like you were the life of the party? It does seem that we <laughs> happen to be the, the cool kids of summer at some point. You're the point. hype men, like but, every uh, day. We come together, we love to have a good time, and we just try to spread the spread the love and get everybody else to join the party guys it's nothing but positive vibes here definitely come by say hi tell them thank you for everything they do and of course make sure that you come by and you say thank you to anyone who's working with jeep beach as well the, them putting together this entire event every single year is amazing and every year it's gotten bigger and bigger okay you've seen the beach you've seen the vendor show but now it's time for one of the main highlights the fun. Of the fun it's the most fun friday night tiki party spiderweb shade shade brigade it is insane it is so much fun but people come down here every year and they don't have tickets because they sell out and it then like, sells out they ask every us year. like hey can you get us tickets I'm like I, there's not you have to get the tickets ahead of time guys 100 percent the tiki party is where it's at although the entire week is an absolute blast this is hands down probably one of the most fun parts of the entire week we're about to show it to you. All right, when Kevin says get here early, he means it. Are you guys ready to party? Yeah. The line goes all the way around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I promise you're gonna have an epic time tonight. It's the Chief Lee Tiki Party 2023. I need you guys to make some noise. Team Rock Crawler, we have Okay, so here's the deal. I was going to close out the video at Outlaw Road Gulf Coast because this is currently where we are. And we decided on our way back to Utah from Jeep Beach, Jeep Beach is over and done with. We are going to have a wonderful meet and greet, like a pop-up meet and greet here at Outlaw Off-Road because our good friend John owns it. We pulled into the shop this morning to start the meet and greet and um, that started happening. I don't think we are gonna get home as soon as we thought we were gonna get home uh, to figure out what exactly is going on and what is wrong and why he <laughs> seemed to me potentially stranded once again in the teaming child. You're gonna have to wait till the next video. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. 
please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you can find all your Light Bright Nation merch and decals at lightbrightstudios.com. As always, we love you, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>